Hello everyone, myself Pramit Kumar Dev Burman from the Center for Climate Change Research at the Indian Institute of Tropical Meteorology, Pune, which is an autonomous research institute under the Ministry of Earth Sciences, the Government of India. And at our institute, we work on climate change, its impact assessment and its mitigation. So today I'll be telling you about a science which deals with the past climate. This is known as paleoclimate. In order to know about the climate change and its impact on flora, fauna and the different components in our earth system, we also need to know what was the past climate. Since we did not have any measurement record, any modern observational record beyond 50 to 60 years from now, we often depend on several natural proxies which contain the information regarding the past climate. So these proxies or such paleoclimatic records, they include the tree rings which we show you here. Such informations are also contained in the cave deposits or the speleothems. Now I will be telling you now how do we inform, how do we get the information from such records. Now the growth of tree rings as you see in this particular section of a tree trunk you can see the annual tree rings and the tree rings are indicative of the age of that particular tree. And not only that when this tree ring was formed its structure its growth that depends on multiple different environmental stressors like the heat stressor like the water stressor so we can find out if there was a drought sometimes back if there was a prolonged warming sometimes back in our in that particular region where this tree was grown so usually these tree rings they contain information from several hundred to several thousand years about their local climate the speleothems on the other hand so this is a cross section of a stalactite which is the cave deposit, the deposit of limestone within the, within the cave. So this particular speleothem is taken from a cave near Kadapa, Kadapa district in Andhra, and it's a cross section of that. Now you can see in this speleothem sample, there are several layer kind of structures. So basically these layers are formed at different ages, at different times of growth of this particular cave deposit. And these cave deposits contain the information of climate for a much longer time from from several thousand to usually a, a couple of million of years now you must be wondering how do we get the information from these from these physical objects so basically what we do once we collect either of these things then we collect the cellulose sample from these tree rings and we collect the dust from this particular cave deposit so this dust will contain calcium carbonate and the cellulose will contain mostly carbon so from the tree ring then we compute the quantity, the quantity of the isotopes of carbon and hydrogen and oxygen. We all know that the carbon, the most stable isotope, the most abundant variety is carbon-12. For oxygen, it is oxygen-16 and for hydrogen, it is 1. But they have got isotopes, namely carbon has got two isotopes, carbon-13 and carbon-14. Carbon-14 is radioactive and that is used for radioactive dating. But there is another isotope called carbon-13. Oxygen has got another isotope called oxygen-18 and hydrogen has got deuterium. So from the cellulose samples, we compute what is the content of deuterium and carbon-13 in this and that record we reconstruct. We reconstruct those records for last 50 or 100 years for which we have the modern measurements available, modern measurements of meteorological conditions such as temperature and precipitation available at that location. So then we correlate the variation in that carbon-13 and oxygen-18 from the cellulose samples to the known record of meteorology, the known record of environmental conditions from either ground based measurements or other remote sensing measurements. And that is how we construct our model. And once that model thus calibrated, then we use that calibrated and validated model for longer periods in the past. So in other words, we know what has been the variation in our climate like temperature and precipitation for last 50 years depending on the measurement record available with us and that record for another for we go beyond beyond 50 years from now and then we go beyond in the past and then we reconstruct the temperature and precipitation pattern in those periods that is how it is done for speleothems the procedure is sim procedure is same except that from speleothems we don't get the cellulose record but we extract the calcium carbonate because when these cellulose, when these speleothem deposits are formed, these are basically limestone, which is calcium carbonate. And they contain 
the same information but in in this case we don't usually measure the oxygen 18 or hydrogen we measure mostly the carbon now for our purpose we do not need to take the entire section of the tree as you see here usually we don't dissect any live tree or any live tree stem so if a tree is fallen if its tree is dead that is no more growing then we can take the cross section and that too we take after the permission from the forest department making sure that we are not affecting any live tree species and instead of that we can use some one drill which i will show you uh, the way it works so this is the drill which has got this components so you can see there is a drill bit here which is spiral so the way it works if you rotate it it will go inside it's a drill and it drill has got a hole inside and this is the handle to operate this so what we do we open this we put this one inside we put this one inside and then we open this using a screw driver i don't have it now otherwise i could have shown you and we put this inside and then we lock it here so now it becomes my drill this this becomes my drill and this if i have a tree i will put on the tree and then i will rotate this i'll push and rotate this so this drill will go along with the di diameter of the tree inside that tree trunk and afterwards i will use this spatula to take out that slice from inside and once we take it out it looks something like this this is one tree ring core that i have taken from one particular tree one of my colleagues have taken from one particular tree and that we have mounted on this sample so here you see it is exactly similar except that instead of the entire tree trunk i have only taken a section of that and usually such kind of works they do not affect the tree they do not affect the physiological functioning of the tree and soon after this sample is taken we fill out that that cavity using some wax so that is a well known and well established technique globally and this study within the purview of paleo climate is known as the dendro climatology dendro is something which is related to the tree trunk so it is called dendro climatology so so i hope you like this and if you need to know more about these things if you would like to explore more you can you can you can explore the literature available on this or you can get back to us we'll be happy to help you out thank you